basically ever since the internet was invented, the third party cookies serve uh, as the main vehicle to track user behavior. And from the early days of internet marketing, Google and later on also Facebook heavily used the third party cookie to offer personalized uh, ads. Uh, basically, they could have known anything about any click, any page we visited, any product we've added to the card, everything we purchased, like everything was very clear and very open. That made advertising very personal, more accurate. And if you look uh, holistically, I think that what, that's one of the main drivers why budgets shifted from TV and print and radio to the internet. So Google and Facebook became what they are today. And it's all around the ability to track user behavior. Now, following the um, uh, privacy regulation, like the GDPR, the CCPA, and some others, the usage of the third party pixel started to, to, to be limited. So it started with Safari and Firefox who banned the third party pixel usage. And then, you know, the issue with Apple and Facebook had to narrow the attribution window to seven days. And Apple declared that it was going to ban the use of third party pixel in 2022. Now it moved to 2023, probably will move to 2024, but eventually it will happen. Uh, and they also declared two years ago that they are going to ban the data also from the Google Play, which leaves us in a totally different world. It means that Google and Facebook are collecting less data, which means that they are less accurate. And that is the main reason why everybody sees drop in ad performance ever since March 2021. And it's going to be even worse once Google will ban it from Google Chrome, which is 70% of the browsers. So I think that's a huge, uh, that's a huge issue in the industry that uh, everybody heard about it. People know about it, but I am not sure that everybody cares how dramatic it is when it comes to ads performance. Now, if you look at that clause, you can see that, um, you can see that Google and Facebook are becoming more and more black boxes. Like Google came with the PMAX campaign, which is basically give us your budgets and your assets and we will advertise for you. And Facebook came with the advantage plus, which is basically the same ID. And the idea is use our own Google and Facebook first party data. We will get you the audience that you want and the people that you want, and we will get you the results. And I fully understand that because they are, they, they have less data. 